Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over wiring up a winch and this is really not meant for someone who just bought a brand new winch because obviously that's going to come with good instructions. But if you're like me, always looking for a bargain, you may wind up buying a winch that doesn't have a winch control or a relay pack or the winch may have a bad relay pack, which is the case of mine, but also mine did not have a controller. I bought this Jeep as a repo about two years ago and the previous owner took a lot of stuff off of it and one of the things that was gone was the winch remote uh, so I finally got around to trying and trying the winch out and come to find out the relay pack is bad so, so just like anybody else looking for a bargain I went to eBay and found one I think I paid, I paid like $30 for this one and I think I paid 20 maybe $30 for this and I, the reason why I got this one it's just a basic it's just a basic in out three pin remote. But the reason why I got this one is because it had the female side as well. So that way I can just mount this to the Jeep and use it as normal. So uh, follow along and I'm gonna show you uh, how to do this. Okay guys, I'll, I'll throw up a picture um, of what I looked at on Google to see how to wire this thing up. Um, if you guys are anything like me, you'd much rather see a video of some, how someone just actually did it. So. Let's get on with that part. Um, if you'll look, uh, this one happens to be marked, which is good. This one, this one has a plus symbol. This is where your main battery power is going to come in. And what may throw you off is that this one has a negative. But in this case, it is not going to go to ground. I don't know, I don't know about other installations where you just have a two wire motor, but this is a three wire motor. So, but before we get started with the big heavy gauge wires, I want you guys to take a look at these right here. Now, someone might look at this and just figure, okay, those are just there to hold the hold something together, but they're not. These are actually your control terminals. So, so let me show you what you need to do to wire these up. Okay, the first thing we want to do here is get ourselves uh, some terminals, some ring terminals for the uh, for the wires here. Now, my particular wiring harness came with a big ring terminal and we're not gonna we're not gonna mess with that one for right now because this one actually goes onto the main power lug right here along with the main battery cable coming to the control pack and what this is going to do basically is when i match the switch back and forth it's going to take 12 volts from here and put it to either to here or to here so it'll it'll switch between these lugs right here this one goes to ground now the diagram that i'm going to show you shows that this is grounded to the motor but you don't have to run this directly to the motor the motor is grounded to the chassis of the vehicle and as long as you ground this to the chassis of the vehicle then you're fine it'll work so let me uh put these ring terminals on <laughs> And it doesn't matter which side you put these on because if the winch runs backwards, you can do one of two things. You can either switch these small wires around or you can switch the two large terminals around. Um, you're probably, by the time you get everything hooked up, it's probably going to be easier to just change these over from one side to the other because all this is doing is it's just taking a small amount of current operating the relay and it's transferring the large load from this pole to this one or from this one to this one it won't do the same at both times that burn the motor up so what you're doing is just basically if you mash the button one way it sends power to this you mash the button the other way it sends power to this and that's all it does. It's very, very simple. And you always want to make sure you use red for your grounds. That way it confuses everybody. <sighs> Even yourself later on. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Nah, this is just all I had. So this is what we're going to use. All right. Now, our low current is a, uh, or our low amperage is hooked up so 
let me ground this and we'll 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 do a dry test on it with nothing hooked up up here so we can just hear the relay click i just have the solenoid control side temporarily grounded you can see it's grounded this piece of metal in here so let's uh so let's go ahead and hook the main power up and don't forget your power wire to the actual handheld switch got to have that to make it work so here we go i'm putting this the main power lug and the handheld winch power on the terminal with the positive on it and you don't want to over tighten these things this whole housing is just plastic you just want to get it good and snug okay so let's see all right we're plugged in here let's see if this thing works all right there you go you can hear and feel it click okay i'm working with a smitty built what is it uh xrc 9500 winch and this one has uh d wire uh, c wire and a b wire now this b this right. is the one that's on the outer end of the motor that's the one that's going to go on this terminal here the one that's just different from the rest of them so let's hook that up real quick okay now i'm going to take the c i'm going to put it over here i'm just going to try it just, let's just see if i hook it this way that it goes the right direction if not, like I said, it's an, it's an easy fix to swap them around. Now D, I'm gonna put over here. And this one says M1, and this one says M2. So, let's see. All right, let's see if she works. All right, in. Hey, look at there. And out. All right, guys. It works. Okay, guys, that's really all there is to it. It's very simple. Um, I know that wiring can be a little bit intimidating to some people. Um, it's, it's really not bad once you understand the basics of it. All you're doing in this situation, all you're doing is switching power from one pole to another one or to the other one, depending on which way you mash the trigger switch. Now, some motors, motors only use two poles. And basically what the relay system is going to do is it's going to it's going to switch the polarity of the wires. So let's just say this one is positive and this one is negative and it runs one way. Well, then you mash the switch the other way and it flips the polarity and makes the motor turn back the other way. Um, I don't really know all the intricacies, what the differences are between the motors. All I know is one's got three wires, one's got two. So anyway. So thanks guys for watching and I hope to see you next time.